it was one point the derivative of sine inverse of x over a. Recall that the derivative of sine inverse of this x is 1 over the square root of 1 minus x squared. And so the derivative of sine inverse of x over a is the same as the derivative of sine inverse of 1 over a times x. So instead of sine inverse of x, here we have sine inverse of 1 over a times x. So the derivative will be similar in the place of x, we just have 1 over a times x. So once again, the derivative of sine inverse of x is 1 over the square root of x, uh, square root of 1 minus x squared. And so the derivative of sine inverse of 1 over a times x, then in the place of x, we just put 1 over a times x. And the chain rule says we have to multiply by the derivative of 1 over a times x, since we replace x with 1 over a times x. We replace this x right here with 1 over a times x. 1 over a times x squared is the same as x squared dividing by a squared. Derivative of 1 over a times x is just 1 over a. 1 times 1 over a is just 1 over a. And now let's multiply the top and the bottom by the square root of a square. The square root of a square is just a. 1 over a times a is just 1. And then here we have uh, square root times square root, and so we get 1 times a square is a square. x squared over a squared times a square is just x squared. So we end up with 1 over the square root of a square minus x squared. And therefore the derivative of sine inverse of x over a is 1 over the square root of a square minus x squared. And, the, the, and also the entire derivative of 1 over the square root of a square minus x square will be sine inverse of x over 8.